Hi Ellen, this is Tyler and I'm Wesley and we have a bone to pick with you because we have been trying to get a hold of you since February. Um, my sister was diagnosed with a bilateral pulmonary embolism in February after going skiing with my dad and also deep vein thrombosis and she had a really hard time with it because she couldn't just be a normal teenager on blood thinners. She couldn't bike, she couldn't ski, she couldn't do any of the school stuff that she wanted to do with her friends. Um, so it was really hard to watch her. And then she got off the blood thinners in August and was doing really well, joined an Ultimate Frisbee team um, and really loved that. And then this November, November 4th, she um, passed out and was unconscious for six minutes. And the only reason she woke back up was because she is such an active teenager and her heart um, was able to wake her back up after her lungs couldn't do anything anymore. Um, so she was rushed to the ER again and diagnosed again with another bilateral pulmonary embolism and deep vein thrombosis. So those are blood clots in her lungs and her legs. And she, right now, the diagnosis is to be on blood thinners for the rest of her life, which would really be hard. We are trying to raise awareness about blood clots as this is the fourth person that I know that has blood clots. Um, after Megan was diagnosed in February, my best friend was diagnosed in September, also a friend from high school, and um, my boss. So it's a little more common than you think. It's actually the third leading cause of death in America. So Tyler's going to tell you why Megan should get to meet you. I did a traveling program with Megan last year and uh, she was not able to do any of the activities that our other students were able to. She came to every single event and she watched all of us go through it and did not complain once except have a positive attitude and cheer us on. I've never met someone so strong and so brave and even though she can't do a lot and is in so much pain, she will not complain about it once. She is the most caring person I've ever met and she will fight through it all and I just pray that she can go on your show because she is your ultimate fan. So please, Ellen, help us out. She really would love it. So we hope that you um, get a hold of us this time as I've sent you like 27,000 tweets in the past. <laughs> Best sister you'll ever meet, I swear. 27,000 tweets in the last nine months and um, we started a group called The Clot Must Be Fought. We have a website and everything and we're just trying to get the word out there that this is a little more serious than people think and uh, kills more people than breast cancer, AIDS, and traffic accidents combined. So we would love to see Megan on your show and we hope to hear from you soon. Megan is my idol, let her be yours too. Hey, hi Ellen. Um, we would love for you to get Megan on your show. She is your biggest, biggest fan and you don't even know that, so you must meet her and she's had a really tough year and I'm gonna get sad. Um, so this would be the best thing and she's such an unassuming person and she would be so thankful and so happy and it would be a great way for her to um, and a very difficult year. And I'm a mom of two girls. One girl is the cameraman, camera woman, and she has um, fought relentlessly since February to try to bring awareness to um, the uh, problem of blood clots. I think she should be on Ellen because Ellen has her favorite show and because she's had two cases of pulmonary embolism and people need to be aware of that. Yeah, why well, Megan should go on the uh, Ellen show because uh, she's a special young lady and um, she needs to get on Ellen. Ellen is her all time hero and um, Megan is just a special young lady. So I've known her since she was just a baby with her sister and. Um, she just is a strong-willed young lady. Um, hi, I'm Dustin Shakespeare, and I've been best friends with Megan since freshman year. Um, Megan is probably one of the sweetest people I've ever known. She has such a kind heart, and if like you ever need advice or you need to go to her for anything, she's the person you'll go to. Um, she's been through a lot of things, and even though they've been tough on her, you can never tell because she constantly has a smile on her face.
Okay. Um, I'm Corinne Uzi, and Megan is probably one of my best friends, and she's just like really nice and accepting, and uh, even though like when things are not not so great, she's always there for you, and I just think she's really deserving of this. I'm Alex, and I played soccer with Megan since I was little, and she's always been a very strong person. Whether, and she's been very true to herself, and um, kind of like what Dustin said, she doesn't let anyone know what she's struggling with, and she always has a smile on her face, and she's always there for you. Hi, my name's Anne Marie. Um, I'm just going to say really quick why I think Megan Bartley should be a guest on The Ellen Show. Um, I've been friends with Megan since about middle school, and I can definitely attest to the fact that she's just one of the kindest people you'll ever meet. She's so sweet and genuine and caring, and she's always putting other people first and always working to make other people happy. And with that being said, Megan's had a lot of health issues over the past year with blood clots, and um, it's really, I think, torn her spirit down. And um, definitely being on The Ellen Show would be such a boost to Megan. She's such a huge fan of Ellen. Um, she's always talking about Ellen, always watching Ellen's past comedy shows and um, quoting it, and she is just the biggest fan. Um, and she's quite the jokester, so she would make a great addition to the show. Um, and this is just something that Megan really deserved, and all her friends and family are really trying to make happen for her. Um, we all really care about Megan and just want to see her happy. And um, Really, the main reason she should be on the show is that she's always doing things for other people, and it's time that Megan has something like this happen for her that's going to make her really happy. So. Please put Megan on the Ellen Show. She really deserves it, and she would love it so much. Bye! Hi, Ellen. I have to talk tough, because otherwise I'm going to start to cry. So here's what you need to know. When Megan was a senior in high school, she became obsessed, obsessed with your show. And every night, we would do our homework, and I would work sitting at our kitchen table, and she would do her homework, and we would watch you on TV every single night without fail. She would watch your Here and Now video to where now all her friends quote your Here and Now video. So she is your biggest fan. You have no idea. She became very sick in February with blood clots. And our camera woman right now, her sister, became um, fixated on this cause and has done so many things to get attention and tries aware, try to raise awareness about blood clots and the severity and the illness. Megan never complains. She never says anything. She's always fine. You've been a huge inspiration for her. You've been a huge part of our life. We have recorded every single episode while she's been at school and she's now here for Thanksgiving and she just wants to have an Ellen marathon. So please, please, please. So Ellen, as you can see, um, there are so many people that love and adore my sister and have seen how brave she's been through this whole process and at such a young age um, it's been really hard to watch her um, go through it especially when I picked her up from school in February and she walked out wearing an oxygen tank it just broke my heart so ever since then I've been trying to get a hold of you trying to raise some more awareness about this really really crappy <laughs> condition and I hope in the spirit of Thanksgiving we can reach out to you because I know how thankful I am that not only Megan has survived through both of her um, ICU trips but that she it, she wasn't one of the three people that dies from this emergency mm -hmm. and you're so young you don't think of blood clots as being something that strikes um, teenagers or anything like that. Um, so I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and I hope that we can see Megan on your show soon or you can come out here or send Jeannie this way or send her to Seattle. Send Taylor Swift here. Megan is a huge Taylor Swift fan as well. So um, whatever we can do to lift her spirits, I know that she deserves this and um, it's good to see that other people see this too and we will hopefully talk to you later. Thanks. How dare you say that my behavior is unacceptable? So condescending, unnecessarily critical. I have a tendency of getting very physical. So watch your step as if you don't you need a miracle. You dream a drown, make me wonder why I'm even here. This double vision I was seeing is finally clear. You want to stay, but you
Is there anyone out there? Cause it's getting hot.